Welcome to Skin Talk. We have another great episode yep. planned for you today, as usual. Yes, we have so many exciting things. We yep. have Leanne's uh, segment, which is always fabulous. Yep. Um, and then we have Kira from... Kira is from here, here from Kix 100.9, which is one of the top radio stations in the market, country country station, mm -hmm. country music station. I like all and kinds she's of music. fabulous, and you're going to love her, and she's yes. great. Very, so. you know... That personality, very, yes, bubbly, very bubbly, goes with us very well. You have to be when you're on radio, because yes. that has to translate through, you know, when people can't see you. So. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. But we also have um, Nikki Gott, who is a diehard viewer of Skin Talk, yep. and uh, she has a wonderful story um, and about her son, Liam, who um, was diagnosed with autism, and that is also something that's huge mm -hmm. that a lot of people are fighting undergoing, and yeah. undergoing. So it's going to be really compelling to, to hear because she left us a um, voice message. And, and some presents. Some uh, yes, and we got some presents. gifts. So we can't wait to share that. Yeah. But I want to talk about, um, which ties, this in, ties with, in with Leanne's segment. Yes, yep. about oral cancer. Mm -hmm. Now we know my melanoma could hit us everywhere. Right. From the top of our head where obviously my hair is black so right. it would be very difficult to diagnose. Mm -hmm. But thankfully I have a wonderful hair dresser. <laughs> so, um, and every now and then you fill in that job very well. <laughs> my hairstylist. No, but um, so the eyes. Yep. Um, Palms of the hands, soles of the feet, hands in, the fingernails. Yep, underneath the fingernails and yep. in your gums. Yeah. So, so I did some, some incredible statistics yes. that you came across here. And you know what's funny is that, well, it's not funny, but it's ironic. It's all clicking now. The last few times that I've been to the dentist, they've been urging me to get an oral cancer screening. Yeah. But it's an added thing. The insurance yes. isn't covering yes. it yet. Yes. So this is something I think that over the last few years is we're starting to pay a little bit more attention right. to it. And we're not trying to be, and we're never trying to be fanatical. It's like, right. oh my God, you know, melanoma could be anywhere. But you right. do want to be in tune to the fact that it, it is melanoma and it can be anywhere. Right. In your body. So, hey, you're going to the dentist, you know, have get it checked check out. Your mouth. But it's not the dentist. You do have to go to an oral surgeon. Yes. I mean, the dentist could diagnose They can do a screening, a screening and then they send you to the oral right. surgeon. Right. But the facts that we have found out was um, it says close to 43,250 Americans will be, will be diagnosed with oral cancer wow. this year alone. Wow. And um, it usually affects an older population, you correct. were saying, right? Correct. Yep. Over 40. In, you know, over okay. 40. Um, and they're also saying that diet has a huge factor. Yeah. Eat lots of fruits and vegetables, yes. right? Yes. Is what it was saying. Because less fruits and vegetables increases your chances of it. So wow. In addition, um, you know, obviously tobacco use and alcohol consumption play a huge part into that. Like anything right. that you put into your mouth, anything that you take into your skin, will have an body, effect. Of course. You know, too much sun, it's going to have an effect. Over, you know, eating too much vegetables could have right. an effect. Not having enough vegetables could have an effect. It's, having too much you alcohol. You never know what can cause. Yeah, yeah, it's trying to have a safe balance, which obviously none right. of us really have. Right. But there's so much factors about it. We just wanted our viewers to be aware. Leanne's going to play a key yeah, role Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit more about this, too. And, and for more information, tips on how to talk to your dentist with it, you can actually go to oralcancerfoundation.org. So it's a good yeah. website. Yeah. But in the meantime, stay tuned because we have Kara from Kix 100.9 yeah. coming up. And we also are going to talk about the jewelry. So a lot more good show coming. Just uh, stay tuned. Don't go away. Did you ever think our furry babies could get melanoma? Well, they can. It's one of the many interesting topics we talk about on Skin Talk. So watch Skin Talk for overall skin care health, even if you have fur. Welcome back. Uh, you could see the wonderfully display of fabulous jewelry. Beautiful jewelry. From, uh, this is from a lifelong good friend of mine, Nikki Gott, mm -hmm. um, who actually has been 
such a she's and, and, oh, yes she's been a great bracelets. um viewer she's just a solid fan and she has made these um wonderful warrior bracelets mm -hmm. showing the love um <laughs> for what we do you know for melanoma and yeah. stuff like that she um has a huge um advocacy for autism mm -hmm. um her little boy liam who is a beautiful beautiful little boy how old boy, is he four mm, okay four years old was diagnosed with with autism oh, and tough. she has just this story um and her triumph in turning around what a typical child that's diagnosed with autism is right and has certain you know limitations limitations right has truly been miraculous oh, i mean great. she's truly been such a a miracle worker and she does this jewelry is this an ins is, is this to raise funds or well, she does she was doing this because she's just always been a very creative passionate um, sure humble woman and she started doing this just because of something she enjoyed doing and then as her son Liam and I'm sure a lot of you moms out there know that it takes a lot to for medical bills and stuff like of that of course so she was making these and selling them to cover his medical expenses yep but she has a organization called Taka that she's a part of and um, that money goes for that as well wow. so um, and we're actually wearing some of her yes, the little girl yes. Gem here, and that is beautiful. Yes. Turquoise. And then, yes, these are her signature little girls, her little armies, she calls them. Love it. And uh, so, yes, yeah, so kudos to, yes, to Nikki nice Gott. Done. And thank you, Nikki, for the most amazing voicemail we've ever yes. received. Yes. She left a really great message about Skin Talk and yes. how she's beautiful. a follower. So, actually, um, we have it for you, so you can listen to it here. Hi, Debbie and Megan. I just wanted to leave a message to let you know how much I value your show and appreciate the message and education that the two of you are putting forth. You know, being a mom of a child with autism, I completely understand the importance of awareness and education, and I spend a lot of my time trying to let other people know about autism. So I'm really grateful to you for sharing my story and letting people know about TACA and how it's brought such positive change and has helped my son and it's helped our family. TAC is a nonprofit organization. It's a group of volunteers. It's families helping families with autism. So if you go to the website, you can find locations across the country of meeting times with what we call coffee talks, and it's where we meet other moms or dads over coffee, and we exchange or give information on diet, different therapies, different programs that have worked for different families. And TACA offers free libraries, also has live chat mentors, so if a parents is having a really hard day and needs assistance or simply needs to vent, someone is there for them. And they have a Spanish outreach there, too. It's pretty awesome. So I hope you like the jewelry that I sent you. Enjoy them and wear them, knowing that we're all warriors in our battles against our causes, but we'll survive and make a difference. So if anyone would like to see more of my jewelry line, I do have a shop at Etsy. It's Wimbley Song Jewelry. It's a little under construction, so I'll keep checking back. All my pieces are one of a kind and very different. So thanks again, Debbie and Megan, for everything. You guys are the best. And I wish you much success with Skin Talk. And I'll keep watching. I keep telling everyone to wear their sunscreen and make sure everyone um, knows about you guys as well. Okay, take care. Bye. Dear 16-year-old me. Dear 16-year-old me. Dear 16-year-old me. Please don't get that perm. It's not as awesome as you think it's going to be. You have to actually practice in order to learn to play guitar. Whiskey tastes even worse on the way up. Dear 16-year-old me, there's going to be a new set of Star Wars movies. Don't watch them. They ruin everything. Dear 16-year-old me, this is where they took the cancer out. It was something called melanoma. It's called malignant melanoma. Malignant melanoma. Malignant? That's not a very friendly word. You'll be diagnosed when you're 28. 18. 36. 29. 22. It's a tumor that starts in your skin cells, the cells that give your hair and skin color. It's not just skin cancer. Well, it is. Well, it is. But not just the cut it out and it'll be fine kind, unfortunately. It's the kind that you have to catch before it spreads. Because it spreads so fast. So fast. To places like your liver, your lungs, your brain. Yours will be a really rare kind in your left eye. And that's when you'll find out. That melanoma can show up on your tongue, the palms of your hands, and the soles of your feet. Your doctors will tell you you're lucky that you caught it early. Yours will tell you that you need aggressive treatment. I'll have to tell you it might take a year of chemotherapy. 
and you'll need to do some of the injections yourself. Dear 16-year-old me, You're doing okay. You're strong, but there are some things I want you to know. I wish I'd known. That one bad sunburn before you turn 18 doubles your chances of developing melanoma. That fair skin and red hair means that you're at a higher risk of getting it. As if ginger people didn't have enough problems. That you're at higher risk if you've got more than 50 moles. And if you have a weakened immune system or a family history of skin cancer. I want you to know the outlook is very good if we can catch it early. But you have less than a 10% chance of surviving more than five years if we don't. Dear 16-year-old me, Spend more time with family, they mean everything. If I had one piece of advice for you, don't start the tanning bed. I know you want a healthy glow, but it's going to double my chances of getting melanoma. Sunscreen. Yes, I agree. It's a huge pain in the ass, but so worth it. Please. Your skin's like an elephant. It never forgets. Dear 16-year-old me, helping spread this message is how you'll honor Glenna's memory. At 16, she's already an incredible lifeguard. She loves the sun and the beach, and tanning, but she just doesn't know. She'll be diagnosed when she's 22, and will lose her battle when she's just 26. I want you to know, because it's melanoma that's going to take the strongest man you know, your best friend, and the love of your life. Dear 16-year-old me, Don't be afraid. This isn't about being afraid. I want you to be aware that melanoma is a young person's disease. It is the second most common cancer in children and teenagers, and one of the most common in young adults. And it can be deadly. I want you to know you're not helpless. This is a cancer that shows itself right there on the outside of you. Start checking your skin. Please check. Get to know your skin. Get to know your skin. Start checking your skin. If a new mole shows up, or if when you have, starts to change color, or size, or shape, or feels different. If something seems out of place, get your doctor to have a look as soon as possible. Know what to look for and get help. These are all signs your skin could be developing cancer. You brush your teeth every day, maybe even floss. Okay, we both know you don't floss. But just once a month, I want you to check. It takes 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Dear 16-year-old me, I do realize you're not actually going to see this, but someone else will, and it'll make a difference to them. Dear someone else. Dear somebody else. If you're watching this, send it to a 16-year-old you care about. Send it to anyone who was once 16, or soon will be 16. Send this. And check yourself. Educate yourself. You can download tools and information about melanoma here. Share this link. Tweet this link. Post this to your Facebook. Hi, I'm Renee Banks, the first runner-up to Miss Massachusetts Outstanding Teen, and hopefully the next Miss America's Outstanding Teen. I take a lot of pride in skin safety, not just because I am involved in the Miss America's Outstanding Teen organization, and healthy and beautiful skin means everything in a pageant, but because my grandfather passed away from melanoma. And my mission is melanoma awareness. Hey, where's Renee? But because my I think she's doing a PSA on the set. Huh, let's go check it out. All right. You must know my good friends from Skin Talk. Hey, beautiful. Hey, what are you hey. up to? I was just talking about you ladies because thanks to you, I'm able to spread my own personal melanoma outreach. And I know what that is. To educate. And to demonstrate. And terminate melanoma. So keep watching Skin Talk. Welcome back. We have Kara here from Kix 100.9. Thank you so much Welcome. for having me. No, thank you for coming. Yeah, we wanted to have you on because woman in the spotlight. 
Hello. <laughs> yes. And you always look fabulous. I don't know how you Stop do it, it when I come by the station. It's like four in the morning, five in the morning, and she looks fabulous. You're such like, a liar. She comes by the station, I have a baseball hat on. Come on, really. <laughs> you and you still look true. fabulous. But you, you look fabulous in rock it. a baseball hat and look gorgeous at four in the morning. Right. Stop Not it. too exactly. many people. Stop it. I do the best I can, ladies. Well, there we go. But well, you speaking have amazing of amazing skin. Yes. Thank amazing you. Skin. What do you do to maintain your skin? All right. And being a mom. Being and a working. mom. Yes. Yeah. Being a mom, um, do you sleep? <laughs> no, I usually sleep about four hours a night. <laughs> I'm a two shower a day type of gal. Oh my goodness! Um, and when I was younger, my mom always had me use regular soap, yep. like Dove or Olay soap on my face. Mm -hmm. And now I use coconut oil. Is that what you wash with? Um, I use coconut oil afterwards. I usually wash with. Actually, you just got me to use astringent because I had. Because you had a little pimple. I had a little pimple. I almost had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> so I was like, oh, oh my being gosh. in the spotlight all the time. See you guys, I you need subconsciously it. become more yeah. focused to that. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah, and I honestly, I usually use a Mac cleanser. And then That's I right. use coconut oil most of the time. I've been hearing a lot about coconut yes. oil. That's, yeah, it seems to be kind of like the. It's great. It's great from head to toe, actually. Oh, that's great. You can cook with it and use it well, on your you body. Well, you think about it, yeah. too. I mean, <laughs> after having <laughs> um, <laughs> being pregnant, yeah. I used, it was just like, I was swimming in it. I'm like, if this is going to help, I don't care. Because of the stretch marks? Yeah, the stretch marks, mm -hmm. yeah. And really? So during pregnancy, after pregnancy, it really does wonders. Oh, that's good to know. So I can yeah. imagine. Would, I never thought about it on my face. Oh, it's what? awesome. And it doesn't leave your face greasy. That's oh, good. Nice. You know? That's very helpful. Mm -hmm. Now, would coconut oil be your number one beauty tip to people, or what What do you think? Um, Number one beauty tip for people. Or like one of your best beauty tips. Would it be sunscreen? Uh, well, actually, to be honest with you, sunscreen is now one of my biggest, biggest things. Right. My mom had a piece of skin cancer on oh, her face. Goodness. She had it removed, thank goodness. Wow. Um, and my girlfriend had it twice. So now, not only do I have the big floppy hat, but I use sunscreen on my face, I mm -hmm. use like 50, um, yep. and I do have two kids, and I lather Are them you up. Lathering them? Oh, I lather do them. Do they like hate crazy. it? You know what? They've gotten used to it. Well, yeah. like, a, yeah. they don't want to feel sunburned, and B, you know, yeah. I, I showed them what it's going to look like if they don't. And your daughter's right. beautiful. So yeah. Oh, to have thank her, you. Her, yeah, from what I hear, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. like to get, and that's our main thing is to get kids and it's a habit when they're young yeah. to realize you look so beautiful, you look so healthy, you look so pure. Doing the sun and the tanning bits is only going to damage that. And I right. know that sometimes doesn't click, but no. we try to have creative ways to make them. Were you a user of tanning bed and to make sun, them click. sun worshiper? Yeah. I was a really bad sun worshiper. Yeah, yeah. Was that, what it, was that about Crisco you were saying earlier? <laughs> this one time in high school, <laughs> I, I used Crisco I and like I laid it on would fit together. <laughs> yeah, and I laid it on aluminum foil and I fried oh, and, God. you know, was you fry and you kill. Yeah, but you know what? Back, Back then, yeah, that was you. what you did. I and did now with, too. with I my kids, yeah. yeah. sun no sun. Yes, remember yeah. sun? Yes, ridiculous. Oh. We Baby ruined oil. our hair. They don't have sun anymore, do they? They still I have sun. Yes, they, they really do. do. Yes, they no, do. No, because if Kayla gets a hold of it, we're in serious <laughs> trouble. Now, with the radio station, yes. do they encourage? Because you're a kick at uh, uh, kicks. Yes. Kicks. Yep. So, do they encourage? Like, what is their hope? I mean, obviously you're indoors, you know, for the most part for your show, but you travel, you go and do, like, how is their whole thought process um, health and health wise oh, yeah. is staying out of the sun and because you guys are out, you, you know, you're yeah, out. we're out all the time. Yeah. You know, yeah. to be honest with you, they leave it up to us. Yeah. Whatever our personal preferences, um, mm -hmm. you know, something that they, you they know. know not to mess with me when it comes to my skin, my yep. face, my hair, yeah. my appearance. <laughs> yeah, like well, I, I mean, set a precedent here. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the thing. I'm one of the, I'm the only female at the station. I was going to ask you, are you the only yeah. girl? Only girl at Kicks, so oh, yeah. no one messes with Ooh, me. Yeah, that's, that's good. a good position. To yes, be. yes, it's a good. That. You guys awesome. need backup. Just let me know. Well, good. So then you could set the precedent. Yes. yes. Even with these men, because we know how thick-headed. Excuse me. And did they I say don't that take care of themselves. You did, and they don't. <laughs> no. How they don't? Yeah, well, not when it comes to the sun. Especially not paying it. Yeah, paying attention no, to the sun. No, except for that. Well, I was just in Florida with my husband, um, and he fried like the back of his head, and I said, "That's because oh. he didn't listen to me." And uh, oh, he striped best. himself, and I said, "Dude, you need to listen to me and put the sunscreen all like all yeah, over your whole face." Just, just That's and unfortunately, we see melanoma: young female, older male. Yeah, and it's because yes. of this lo this exposure over and over again, and not yeah. paying attention, and not listening yeah. to our, their wives. And if we don't put it on them, they're not going to do it themselves. Right. Oh, they don't absolutely. like the lotion. They no. don't like the feel. All yeah. that. Oh, or I think maybe they're away from mother. their manly yeah. that they have yeah. to put something on exactly. their skin. Exactly. Now you just came back from Florida. It does look like you have a glow. How did you achieve that? This glow is from Jergens. Nice. Yes. The everyday wear? Yes. Yeah, I product. do it every day. And yep. there's also the wipes they sell at um, Sephora, yep. I think where I got them. Yep. 
Um, and they're awesome because you don't turn that orange funny color. Right. They well, look I really always natural. say that to people because they yeah. always ask me like, I don't, I don't want to do sun this tanner because I'm going to turn orange. No, it's come so yeah. far. Well, yeah, compared Since to remember when it started. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Forget it. Well, and you'd have orange. like the line right here, <laughs> oh, yeah. and, like around your ankles, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah between your fingers. Yes. Oh, the yes. hands. Yeah, your palms. Yep. And yep. I actually have done it to Kayla. I've used the spray bronzer. To um, show her when she because she does competitive dancing, so yeah. I'll do and that on her. There's these great, a, you know, like even with Leanne, mobile. Yeah, tan. yeah. Come to you and Spray give tans. you a tan, nice yep. and even. And anytime healthy. she wants to come to the studio, we can do that. Yeah, we, we have one on the air. Awesome. Anytime Leanne, you're willing to do now. that, <laughs> yeah, Leanne, come on, girl. Oh my goodness, no, that's great. Well, thank you so much for being here. You're yes. beautiful. You're fabulous. Stop it. Yes. We do and have a little gift. Yes, you guys are so sweet. Yes. Yes. Gifts well, for you. I want to come back again next sweet time. Take sweet to no sweet. Yeah, thank you. So we are absolutely awesome. gonna have you back. So. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for being here. And share the thank word you. and tell everybody on that station to yeah. listen to us. I will, I promise. And, <laughs> and you do the same. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Go power. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. So stay tuned. We have Leanne's segment coming up next. Hi, guys. It's Kira from Kix 100.9. And you know, I feel like I see it all and I hear it all. And I thought I knew it all until I met Deb and Megan from Skin Talk. They know everything about skin care and melanoma. So make sure you check them out on Skin Talk. So you heard Kira, and she is smart. Skin Talk has it all, so be sure to tune in and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back. Kira was amazing. Yeah, isn't she wonderful? Yes, yeah, so Beautiful, lively. Great skin. Jeez. All that. Yeah. I thought, you know, Leanne had all the bubbly, bubbly, but she took a lot of the bubbly. She's very bubbly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have Leanne up next. She's going to be talking about oral hygiene. Wait a minute, you misled me. <laughs> you misled me on this uh, on this segment. You, I thought we were talking about oral. What did you think it was going to be there? Uh, uh, wink, wink, Megan. <laughs> All right, Leanne, what do you have? Leanne, what do you have in the oral department? Yes, what do you have for us today? Uh, well, it's in also in the do-it-yourself section, so uh, <laughs> of uh, skincare. Uh, what I'm going to talk start it with is um, this big craze everybody's talking about is oil pulling, and Kara just talked about. Um, how she uses it on her face as her skincare, and she's right. You can use it all over your body, mm. um, head to toe. You can use it in your hair to moisturize if you have really dry scalp and, and whatnot. The big craze right now is oil pulling. I've heard about this. Yeah. I've thought about doing it, but it's 20 minutes, right? You need to do it. Oh, I every that all the girls at the spa. <laughs> yeah, all the girls at the spa. They're all talking about it and trying it, and they're scooping out the the coconut oil and, and wanting to do it. Myself, I will not be doing it because um, you have to keep the oil in your mouth. For, you have to like swish for like 20 minutes. Right, right. Yeah, I'm all set. The so, way I talk, I can't. <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> so the purpose of oil pulling is to remove toxins from um, your body and that, you know, the toxins that cause har uh, physical harm. So um, what you do is you take a drink of water and then you put like a teaspoon of coconut oil in your mouth. Now, some people they can put like, you know how when you scoop it out of the jar, it's in solid form mm -hmm. unless it gets over 76 degrees. So when you put it in your mouth, it melts. Some people can't deal with that. Oh yeah, texture. it's gotta be a little creepy. I was gonna so, say, it doesn't t have a really good taste Well, it's though. coconut oil, so it's, it's probably, coconut yeah. oil. You can get coconut oil with, you know, scent um, or not. Okay. So you take a teaspoon of that, you put it in your mouth, and you swish it around at, for about 20 minutes. You can start at five minutes and work your way up to 20 if you are that brave, but you do this daily. Mm. And um, you swish it around your mouth, and then you spit it into the trash. You don't want to spit it down the drain because right. you'll end up clogging the drain because as the coconut oil gets hard, it will actually um, and cause that And thank you so much for watching. Um, please clog. follow us. Okay. And, just and like then morning, after you just brush your teeth. Or night, or just, just yeah. once a day. It matter either morning, but, yeah, it doesn't make a difference whether you're doing uh, it morning, I think you can do it twice a day. Um, hmm. I, hear just people doing it once a day. Though. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Studies show that it, um, there's a reduction, actually is a reduction in plaque and gingivitis. Mm -hmm. The colony count of microorganisms and bacteria in your mouth is down after it. And studies also show that it's as effective as mouthwash. Now, and you have a toothpaste that you're going to be making for us here that... Yes. Because for those of us who don't want to use, you know, toothpaste with harmful chemicals like sodium lauryl sulfate in it or fluoride, there's a lot of controversy around it. Um, you know, you can get you can get toothpaste that are already you know made without those things at you know Whole Foods or mm -hmm. Trader Joe's or whatnot, those kinds of stores. Um, but you can also make your own at home, which is really cool. So what you do is you Less take expensive. 
it mm -hmm. is less expensive. And you know, we always like to save a little bit more so we can have those fancy shoes that we love so much. <laughs> that we're always True. rocking on the yeah. That's right, that's right. So you want to um, take a teaspoon of baking soda mm -hmm. and you're gonna mix it with a half a teaspoon of salt. The salt is optional, you don't have to have it, but it does add a little extra mineral and abrasiveness in there for you. Mm -hmm. And then you can brew some peppermint tea. You can just use water and um, you can put some essential oils in there, but if you have peppermint tea or something like that, you can actually use that instead because you're not using a lot, you're just making kind of a paste. Mm -hmm. Now baking soda does have a little bit of a salty taste to it, mm -hmm. so you can actually add cinnamon instead if you would like to add, it, it cuts that saltiness of the baking soda. Okay. And the cinnamon actually, a study show that that's very good for um, antibacterial, um, you know, killing the bacteria. Well, so. that's the whole premise of what we were talking about earlier too about um, oral cancer. Right. You know, so having knowing what you're putting in your mouth and brushing your teeth with, I'm sure helps in yeah. that aspect. You yeah. know, exactly. It, and you can do it with things in your kitchen, and it's not going to cost you a lot. You could actually make a batch and store it in a awesome. container like this. Keep it in the fridge. Yeah. Will it go bad? Like, um, if you keep it in the fridge, it should last. You know, seven to ten days or so. Okay. Great. Well, That's thank awesome. you so much. That was wonderful. I'm going to give welcome. that a try. Yeah. Oh, as usual, fantastic segment. Yeah. Diane, you're wonderful. And thank you so much for watching. Um, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And make sure you email us because we love hearing from you. Yeah. Till next time. Bye. Thank you for the continued support from our sponsors. It's all about me for dressing us every single show. Yes. And also, Wilbraham Flowers for providing us with some great flowers to decorate our set and help us look good.